Hello and welcome back to Completionist Hardcore Minecraft. Dun dun dun. All right. So basically, um, this episode I'm going to be focusing on getting an ocelot. That's my goal, and I don't think it should be too hard considering we're right next to a jungle. But we'll see. Uh, <laughs> I do have enough string. Oop. What? Merp. All right. I do have enough string to. Once I make sticks, enough string. All right. I keep saying that. I made a fishing line. Moving on. Um, oh wait, I want to take my crafting table with me. Alright, so basically, uh, as far as an update, I, people have been kind of asking me a lot of questions about, uh, and rightfully so, about the um, change to new world that the Minecraft server is experiencing. By the way, if you didn't know, hey, now you know. Uh, <laughs> stay tuned for an important announcement. Uh, basically, the whole idea with the world lagging is uh, about a, a little less than a week ago. Uh, people started noticing a lot of lag with the server. It was just uh, horrible lag. And I wasn't really getting much lag because I'm right next to the server computer. And so, sure, I was getting some, some lag that was due to the server itself lagging out. But as far as, um, you know, I wasn't getting as bad. But I was still getting lag. And they were getting really bad lag. So I decided to, um, with Trig's suggestion, basically, and Trader James' to sit, <laughs> a suggestion, to basically restart the world, to start a brand new world, brand new from the start. And so I was planning to just um, simply, yesterday actually, uh, just get the old world, put it up on the website for download for anyone who wants nostalgia, and then start a brand new world. And um, then people scream bloody murder. So <laughs> that ended up not being a viable option exactly. So um, where did that fish go? Did, did I like, oh, I threw it all the way over here? Wow. Nice. Um... So that ended up not being a viable option, because no one liked that idea, and, and I can see why. I mean, you know, they spent all their time doing buildings and stuff, and then to have it all of a sudden, hey, all those buildings you built, they're gone. You know, that's, I can, I can understand why that's pretty frustrating. So I decided to um, basically do a one-week transitional grace period, so to speak, in which people could request transfers of residences they cur currently own, and um, when I'm on the server, they have to ask me, and then I'll go over and I'll copy it into the new world and make the res there, and I'll just um, kind of take it from there, transfer the res ownership to them, and it's theirs. And so each person is allowed exactly three buildings to copy over. Now, if you have, if you're one of the obsessive builders, someone like, you know, Dark Flick, Hikerak, um, Dole1212, Soldwitch1, there's a lot of users, and that's not nearly a complete list. Um, of people who are obsessive builders, um, you know, who build more than three cool buildings. And so for them, I will, and anyone who falls into that category, uh, just, just ask. Uh, I will definitely extend that to more than three, uh, to as many as you really need. But, because um, I don't want to see, you know, some building you put, you know, 20 hours in to go to waste. But uh, the three limit was imposed to stop people from having me copy mud huts and stuff. Um, basically the rule is, if it takes less than half an hour to build, it's not worth copying to the new world. Um, <laughs> and it rhymes too, so <laughs> that should make it all nice. But how many fish do I have? I've just been mindlessly fishing. Alright, I have five fish. That's cool. Try to get one more. Because I think six will be more than enough to tame an ocelot. So anyway, uh, if, if it takes less than 30 minutes to build, it's not worth moving over to the new world. Because, um, <laughs> it takes a, it's a little bit hard to copy them, uh. It's pretty straightforward, sure, select two points, copy, go into the new world, find a good location, paste, and then make a res around it, remove the, or make a selection around it, remove the old res, res select world edit to select that cube, make a res there, transfer the res ownership. It's pretty straightforward, but um, it, it is time consuming, so I have no problem at all with transferring uh, cool, cool buildings and whatnot and transferring, you know, things that people put work into, but just don't ask me to transfer like a little you know, 4x4 four four mud hut or something. If it if it took over 30 minutes or preferably over an hour to build, then I'm perfectly happy to bring it over. And that's not 29 minutes of you walking around trying to find a nice place to build and one minute of you putting down mud. I mean, 30 minutes once you're actually started building. Uh, and I'll be happy to answer any questions, or if you're unclear about something, I'll be more than happy to, you know, to come over and tell you whether it's worth copying. And I haven't turned down a building yet, because I've and, you know, things like farms and stuff I'll be happy to bring over. Um, but, uh, yeah, and also let me know if there's any special instructions. I know a lot of people like to have their homes next to other people's. So, you know, if you say, oh, you know, I want my home next to Hyker Axe, 
um, we can probably do that too. So any special instructions, that's why you do have to be online for me to copy your reses, unless you, you you like give me instructions and then leave. But even that's kind of hard with the list and everything. What about, oh, wait, I have a question, you know. So I prefer that you're online when I do the copying effect. I almost request it, but um, I can make a couple exceptions. Like, you know, if there's, oh, you know, hey, I'm not going to be here all day, but can you just copy this res? I don't care where you put it, just anywhere. It's fine, random location. Great, thanks, bye. Yeah, that's, that's fine. Currently, the waiting list has... Um, I think 23 positions, but we're on number like 18 or 19, I think. I don't know. I'll have to check. So anyway, um, <laughs> and, and by the time this video is up, it'll probably be different. But, uh, so anyway, yeah, feel free to just ask, and when I'm on the server, I will try to be on the server, uh, quite a bit, but again, um, I do not see any ocelots, this is ridiculous. But again, uh, I am quite busy, uh, which brings me to my next point of what's new. I am currently building a... Uh, 3D first person. I don't know if it's going to be a first person shooter. I kind of want to make it one, but I don't know. We'll we'll see what I can, <laughs> what I'm capable of. It's probably not much, uh, <laughs> unfortunately. But yeah, I, I've um, yesterday I started and I've been doing game development for a while. As far as you know, 2D little simple, very very simple. When I say simple, I mean simple um, games and stuff. And now I'm moving over to trying out 3D with a uh, 3D engine. I'm using the Unity 3D engine, which is it's pretty cool. I enjoy it. Um, it you still have to do programming and everything, but it's drag and drop as a kind of style for things like... Um, they have a couple pre-made things like a uh, first person... Um, it's spinning Pig is amazing. Spinning Pig is spinning. Uh, <laughs> they have a... Ouch. I should eat something. They have... Um, why are there no ocelots around here? That's what I want to know. Ouch. We are going to find an ocelot. Or these episodes either end one when I complete the challenge, or two when we hit thirty minutes. So either one. And we're currently at around seven minutes. So. So yes, that's how it's shaking, or whatever they say. Oh, <laughs> there are no ocelots. This is ridiculous. Could have sworn I saw one like last episode. Well, then again, it's been like a week since I filmed that. But I could... I thought there was one, but oh well, whatever. I'm sure there's one in this jungle. It's a jungle, for God's sakes. But anyway, um, we have our fish, our trusty fish. Hmm. Come here, Aussie, 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 lot. There we go. Hey, my song worked. What do you know? Hi. Come over here. Over here. That's right. Do you have shoulder pads? Oh, those are ears. Oh yeah, first hit. Awesome. We got an ocelot. Now it's. I know it's only eight minutes in, so we're gonna we're gonna do something else. Our next uh, goal is to dun da 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 dun da. Find diamond. Wait, I don't think. Yeah, we didn't already find diamond. All right, find diamond. Uh, <laughs> so I'm going to. I'm probably not gonna find diamond in this episode, but I'm going to get the framework started for doing that. I'm going to find some kind of cave system. And I'll probably cut this episode off at around 25 minutes, whenever is a comfortable time to end it. Um, um, like, I don't know where. Alright, now we need a cave system. And it's getting dark. But I'm surrounded by sheep, so this shouldn't be too bad of a thing. Um, and I already have four wool. Great, I didn't need to kill that sheep, but I did. Alright, we got a bed. There we go. Place it and sleep. And there's my cat. Um, don't cats like sit on beds or something? Whoa! Alright, that's unrealistic that you can make a cat sit. That is so unrealistic. <laughs> oh, I mean the cats. Um, no, I like cats, but I just. Um, most of the cats, in fact, I think all of the cats, but two that I know, are um, very antisocial and um, <laughs> aren't very friendly to me, to say the least. Oh, I remember those clay. Hey, look, iron. So yeah, no nothing against cats as a whole, but the cats I know. <laughs> there's two exceptions. There's one really nice cat. Uh, well, there's two really nice cats that I know, but 
Um, I, I personally had a cat when I was a little kid, and, you know, I would, like, it would roll over and be like, oh, we'll scratch my back or something, and you'd start scratching its back, and then it'd attack you, and it, like, bit through my hand, and so, yeah. <laughs> Needless to say, that cat wasn't very fond of me. Probably with good reason, too. I was a little toddler, you know, probably, you know, grabbing on it and pulling on its ears or whatever, but, yeah, anyway. <laughs> But I've never seen a trained cat that sits on command. I've never in my life seen that. So that's pretty cool. <laughs> Even though it is in Minecraft, still takes some programming skill, I'm sure, to get those cats to do that. <laughs> uh, anyway, it'd probably be really hard to get a wild dog to do that, too, as quickly as these guys do. It's like, here, here's some food. Oh, boy, right click. Hey, that means sit. Oh, all right, it sits. You know. <laughs> but, you know, hey, it's Minecraft. <laughs> That's the fun of it. Here's a little... Oh, this is lame. I thought this was going to be a cave system. Well, I guess it technically is, but... Meh. Alright, I, I don't want to do this, but um, I don't want to dig, like, straight down or anything, but I think I'm going to try... Oh, wait, what's this? What is... Oh, get out of my way, cat. Meow. Um... here. Let's see here. Um, there's a creeper. Ocelot, get over here. Creeper! Put ocelots get away creepers. Um, sorry guys, I know you can't really see I'm trying to find out. Yep, it's worth it. Alright. Awesome. I don't need these buttons, however I do need to kill the skeleton. There we go. And I do need these torches. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Alright. That there. That there. Hmm. I must have already had torches, because I think I only made four. Oh, that's a lot. Follow me. Oh, hi. Ouch. Die. Die. Alright, ow. Die. 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 It's like screaming die will make them die faster or something. It's some psychological thing. Uh, hey, look at Creeper. Go get him, cat. Or not. I'm starting to doubt the uh, usefulness of a cat. <laughs> Alright, we don't want to exit the cave. We still want to be in the cave. We just want to... Um... Be careful here. Die. Oh wait, the, the sword, not a pickaxe. Huh, we have enough for another thing of TNT. <laughs> should I? Should I not? Should I? Should I not? Well, we still need sand, so maybe at a later point in time. All right. Mm -hmm. All right. Now, cat, show me your magic. All right. Show me what you can do. Come on, heal boy. Do something. Alright. Hmm. I seriously thought cats scared away creepers. Maybe that's just an urban legend. <laughs> Alright, this is going to be dangerous. Between a creeper and a skeleton. Oh yeah. Ha! That was amazing. That was downright amazing. <laughs> that was so cool. Alrighty. Doing good. There are so many creepers, my god. It's like they increased their spawning rate or something. Alright, I wanna see this. Ha! Huh. They, so they do scare away creepers. Ha! Huh, nice! It's kind of hard to get them to do that, though, apparently. Alright. And... Ouch. I was trying to jump up and I couldn't. It's just like, good job. I always do that with creepers. I'm always like, oh, alright, jump, jump, jump away, and then that doesn't happen. <laughs> and I look like an idiot, because I can't even jump away from a creeper. But at any rate, let's go up here. 
Let's see what this has to offer. Hmm. I, I love the vines inside the cave system. It's a really cool effect. It's, it's really enjoyable, in my opinion. Uh, da -da 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 -da. What depth are we at? 56. Alright. I'm doing this in assumption that I will hit another cave system further down along my way. Will it happen? I don't know, but if it doesn't, sorry. Because <laughs> usually, usually these cave systems kind of loop around under themselves, and so usually this is kind of a good way to find a lower cave system. At least it always seems to work. Well, not always. Usually it seems to work. And I am doing this so I don't fall into lava. Even though I do have iron armor, I still don't want to fall into lava. That's no fun. And, you know, it could kill you if you can't get out fast enough. If you fell in, like, a giant pool and you just can't get out of it, you know, you, no matter how much armor you have, you're kind of screwed. <laughs> so. I used up all my torches. All right. No problem. No problemo. Um, more torches! I like how my cat doesn't jump here down here. Come on, you guys are the ones that can jump and fall in unlimited distance and not get hurt, aren't you? Can they do that? Bleh. Can they do that in Minecraft? Or am I wrong? Because I, I, I know they can in real life, obviously, but... Alright, 18... Hmm... Well... Uh, the verdict? I guess there's no cave systems. Uh, cave system parts that loop around down here. That direction, no. This direction, no. Come on. Alright, well, alright, screw that, we just wasted a bunch of time. No, correction, I just wasted a bunch of time. <laughs> I'm going to build around the torches. Leave them there for future reference. For whatever reason. I I'm just too lazy to switch things and take them. Ah. Uh, alright. There we go. <laughs> Problem solved. Loop. Loop. Am I doing this? Because it's fun. Oh. Cat's like, hurry up! What are you doing? <laughs> oh, it's getting impatient. Alright, fine. Hello. Alright, well that didn't work. That was futile. So let's try that again. Let's try going somewhere else. Um, that's going to take us up to the surface, I think. This is going to descend, but not very far. We've already been here. Hmm. Yeah. All right. Well, let's just go to the surface and keep walking. See if we can't find anything. A cool cave system, whatever, while we're walking. And we should be really close to the surface here, unless we're, like, right under a giant mound. Which is quite possible, because we are in Jungle Hills biome. So, you know. We might be kind of a little bit out of luck here, temporarily. Temporarily out of service and out of luck. Hmm. This is pretty high for a hill. I know there's some hills that are higher than this, but this is pretty high for a hill. It's kind of annoying. I haven't even hit the dirt layer yet. So that means it's probably at like 90 or something. Because I'm probably going to hit the dirt any minute now. Come on. Come on. Oh, alright, I stand corrected. Oh, wait, here's the dirt layer. Alright, cool. That was high enough. Um. Sunlight. Oh, and it's daytime, that's perfect. I know we have a bed, but it always helps when we don't have to do additional work. <laughs> Placing it down, sleeping. Ooh, what's this? No, well, not a cave system, that's what. <laughs> I like how the trees sometimes grow, like... And it didn't happen here, I thought it did, but... Oh, like... Oh, no, never mind, not over there. Never mind, don't listen to me. But when, they're, when their logs are, like, not on a piece of dirt anymore, like the way they formed or whatever, they aren't on a piece of dirt. I think that's just cool. Um, I don't know, one of my weird things. Um, alright, so I'm low on hunger, so I'm gonna just eat a bunch of food right now. I know I should probably be cooking it, but you know what? Adventurer doesn't have time to cook food. He eats it raw, because he's bear grills. Um, 
Except that he's not Bear Grylls, he's not in a hurry, he has almost unlimited time, he can make more episodes, and he's playing a video game. And it doesn't take long to smell food. And he could do it while he's looking around the immediate vicinity. But, regardless of all those facts, I don't have time. So, <laughs> uh, ooh, wait, I thought this was going to go down, but it doesn't. What if I just, uh, why am I suspended here? Oh, there we go. Meow. What are those noises that the cat is making? God. <laughs> I thought that was a skeleton, but it's just a pig. Um, that doesn't look like a cave system, is it? Well, I'm going to continue in decreasing Z value so that we're at least going in one solid direction. That sounds like a good idea. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. I want to get into a cave system before I end this episode, but... Um... I'm going to end it at the 25 minute mark here. Or, uh, right, real close, within a minute of that. So I'd like to end it. I'd like to get to a cave system, but I don't see one yet. Jungles don't seem to be very good places for finding cave systems, if you ask me. Once you find a cave system, they're kind of nice, because they have all those ways to get around with the vines in them, but at least down to a certain extent. But, uh... As far as actually finding jungle biomes, it's kind of hard. Or finding jungle biomes, finding cave systems in jungle biomes, it's kind of difficult and it's kind of unfortunate. And I keep thinking these things are ocelots, and I'm like, oh my god, there's so many ocelots, and they're they're cocoa bean pods. Which, speaking of which, it makes cocoa beans not rare anymore. Cocoa beans don't mean anything anymore. Even the MCMO cocoa beans are now even more worthless. Um, <laughs> so that's kind of unfortunate. Cookies are like a I guess a common treat these days in Minecraft for 1.3 players probably. Although they don't heal very much, so they're kind of not all that useful. Speaking of which, Minecraft Hunger Games, they have all these weird classes and they now change the classes. You get to, ow, I should have known that would have happened. They have all these strange classes and the three classes that they give you by default are no longer uh, the Hermit, the, um, they're no longer Hermit. Uh, cultivator and barbarian. They are now, uh, and those those ones that I just rattled off are now paid ones. And the ones that are now free are lumberjack, which makes you makes it so you can uh, chop down a tree, like one the bottom log of a tree, and the whole tree falls. Uh, except for those complex trees, they they haven't included those, like the ones with that don't just go straight up, but also go to the sides and stuff. Like if I chop down this jungle tree, those top little branch things won't come with it. But you know, I mean, it's it's to get wood, and it's plenty of wood, so. Uh, Lumberjack, uh, that's my personal favorite of the free, free ones. There's Jumper, which gives you, I think, six, I might be wrong though, six, four or six Ender Pearls, uh, so that you can jump with them in times of danger or to get quickly to one point or to one place or another. And then there's the other class, which is Fletcher, which um, always drops one uh, flint from gravel and always drops um, two feathers from chickens that you kill. So it makes it uh, really easy to be a bowsman, I suppose. And I've tried out that one, and I haven't had the best of luck with it, because generally I can't find chickens. So it's kind of like, well, that was useful. I didn't find chickens anyway. Here's an upcoming plane, so that's awesome. And uh, in the plains, we can generally find some kind of cave system. It's flatter and not as covered up and hard to navigate as a jungle biome. And... Yeah, <laughs> that's basically where it, where we're at. So anyway, that's that's what's new with the server. The world change. We're also going to be modifying a couple plugins. Um, I'm going to be slightly modifying the economy, um, balancing load a little bit between um, uh, sales and whatnot, and um, also had an issue with um, some jobs not working. And I'm pretty sure that is all fixed. But, uh, let me, oop, a second ocelot, that would be cool to get, just for the heck of it. Be yeah, for the lulz. Wait, what if I could get a skeleton to shoot an enderman? Is, is that gonna happen? Nah, I don't think that's gonna happen. Alright. Not with, uh, it's probably possible, but one, the enderman would probably teleport, and two, it just probably wouldn't end well. Ah, uh, so, <laughs> so, onward! Oh, wait, 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 I was gonna get the second ocelot. Where, where'd it go? Ocelot, you were gonna get food. Where are you? Uh, hmm. Well, alright, missed his chance for food. I 
keep thinking those are ocelots. It is tripping me up. <laughs> I really wish they had changed the colors on those just a bit. In fact, I might go into my texture pack and change those a little bit. It wouldn't be vanilla Minecraft anymore, but sorry. <laughs> these things just trip me up too much. Thinking they're ocelots when they're not. Those lying scumbag cocoa bean pods. Oh. This word is about to break. Yep. <laughs> Uh, wait, why am I... I have a sword. Alright. I'm going to build a new sword right now. Ow! Oh, never mind. Not building a new sword. Running. Stone's okay. <laughs> run, run, run. Oh, nice. More jungle biome. Hey, Enderman. I don't feel like attacking you guys, so don't even think about coming over here. We're looking at me. <laughs> Alright. Have you ever noticed how ende Ender is very close to Endear, which is a totally separate connotation? I just realized that, and I was kind of like, huh. Maybe they're nice after all. And they just get mad when you stare at them. You know, maybe they're nicer people than we think. After all, they are black and have multiple odd legs and purple eyes. What's not to like? Uh, is that another? Nope, that's not another area. Alright, well, it looks like this cave system was also a dead, unfortunately. Um, yep, alright, onwards, again, forever onwards, uh, oh, I probably should have crafted a sword while I was down there, alright, well, this is not going exactly as planned, ow, alright, sword time, wait, right, I'm going to block this area off, so nothing, out of the way, cat. Out of the way. There we go. Put a torch here. Alright. There's a skeleton right around the corner. I don't think he sees me yet, but he will probably pretty soon. So. Let's smelt a little bit more iron. I wish I would have smelted a little bit more earlier. And... Wait for one more ingot. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. Alright, and, oh wait, what am I doing? Iron sword. Wait, the skeleton's gone. Alright, well it looks like we found a good cave system, so I'm going to end the episode right here. Thank you for joining us, or joining me, and I will see you next time. And if you have any questions about the whole world transition thing, feel free to ask either in the comments, personal message on YouTube, or to my email, emails on the website, uh, or a form post. I don't check the form as much as I check email, uh, or an in-game mail, or when I'm online, just ask me. So any of those will work. Thank you, and I will see you later.